Hey guys, and welcome to my completed pages for the month of April. I finished around 20 pages. I didn't really count them, but it's around that. And I'm going to show you right now. So the first one is a really unspectacular one in the Romantic Country by Eerie. And it is this simple page here. I just really wanted to try out a watercolor background and then I colored the floral parts down here with Kohinar colored pencils. So yeah, I do like the color combination of purple, pink and yellow. Um, I wanted it to be quite light and a little pastely to bring out the flowers down here more. So I think it's okay for a first try. And I also have a whip here, which is this night sky that I have done with watercolor. So uh going to work on that next, probably. So that was Romantic Country. Then I have, in the Yaoi vibes, I did this very simple image. And <laughs> you might be thinking, wait, where's the other guy? I actually painted over the other guy with blue acrylic paint because his facial expression looked so weird. Now, this book, as I found out after I got it, is AI. So sometimes, I mean, most of the images are all right, but sometimes there is something wrong with the faces, and there was something pretty wrong with this particular expression, and that's why I did the page. I just wanted to have that out of the way. Here, for example, this is another bad example. It's like, okay, what is this here? Is this like a second nose, and then but his nose is here, and he has like three lips? I don't know. That just happens sometimes with um, these AI images. So I just painted over that guy and colored this cutie here. So he is just swooning over absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but still cute and hey it's a page done right so yeah that was in yaoi wipes then i got this completely random book that i picked up in a local store here in germany in uh, the Müller store fascinating azulejos ah uh, when i hold this book someone told me it means patterns i think so I did this one. Again, this is Kohinar colored pencils. I had these for such a long time and I wanted to use them more. So I picked four colors, blue, purple, pink, and yellow, and did this image. Yeah, so my first image done in that book. Then another German coloring book by a uh, publisher Top. Um, calm and hmm, peacefulness? I don't know. When you're just calm and collected, then I guess... Uh, that's the right German word for that. And I did this image here, which is a boat on some, on some Zentangly waves. I used alcohol markers for most of it. Yeah, alcohol markers for most of it. The background and the gray of the clouds is actually very strongly diluted acrylic paint. I didn't want to use watercolors because I have so much acrylic paint. And I thought, I'm just going to try out how it looks when I dilute them with water so much and uh, I think it's okay and there's also some silver posca in the clouds so yeah I have done a couple of images in this book might work a bit more in here then I have finally finished a forever whip in the coloriage mystère fantastique by Jérémy Maries this is the one where he has his original art and I did the very first image here of this cute woman and instead of acrylic paint and a brush which I usually use in these books I used acrylic paint pens because there were so many details and it's really um, hard with a brush to get all the fine details so when you have a fine tip marker that makes stuff a lot more easy so yep First image done in here. Then in the best year by Hachette Heroes, I did this one here. This is acrylic paint and a brush. As you can see, there are no streaks from markers or anything. You can make the paint look really smooth when you use a brush. This is Scuttle from The Little Mermaid. I think he looks really cute how he's chilling there. So, yeah, one page done there. Then Le Grand Classique, tome three. I did, what did I do here? Oh, yeah, another Forever Whip. I finally finished Anna. 
I had her done except for the skin color and uh, the black outlining. So I finished that. So now I have both Elsa and Anna next to each other. Yeah, really like how this turned out. She has such a cute face. And for Elsa, I actually used... Um, metallic acrylic paint for the background and first i wanted to use the same for anna but then i thought no let's make a contrast and use just normal paint so yeah then le grand classique tome one this is the one i work the most in and rather consecutively i have the most images finished in the first tome here and in April, I did this guy who has been a whip for a while as well. I think he is the villain from Monsters, Inc. Um, Monsters, Inc. is one of the movies I actually haven't seen. I still haven't seen it. I really need to watch it. It somehow has never been a priority, but yeah. Again, acrylic paint. It's a bit of a dark image, but I tried to match the colors as well as I was able to. Then I love stained glass. So in the flowers stained glass, I did first image here, really simple, just alcohol markers. Yep, alcohol markers all the way. Because I love stained glass so much, I did the Tiffany windows of Color Questopia that I recently got. I think it was just my last haul. Did the first image. Again, alcohol markers. Really simple and relaxing to do. Then I have the Zen Doodle Color by Number Stained Glass by Deborah Mueller. And I did this one, which is some bees and flowers. I think they're bees. They look like bees, although they don't have the color of bees. They're orange-yellow instead of yellow-black, but yeah, still cute. And I have The Winter by Sun Life Drawing, and I did, I did this image, which is the cover image, and I finished the first one, which is this stylized snowflake image here with an interesting color palette. Then I have stained glass Tiffany windows, and I think we're... Was it the second image I've done? I think I did the second one. Yeah, I think I showed you that last month. So here is this one. Looks pretty much the same. Except for they color the clouds here, and here they are left white. But yeah, again, alcohol markers. Then I have, I think I pretty much have all of the Circulism art books by AJ Quinnell by now. So I really need to work more in them. And I have done, what have I done actually? This clownfish. So yeah, already started working on the next one. These are really relaxing. Next I have the forest and I did uh, actually left out these and i made this funny looking beetle this was actually supposed to be orange and i had this um admittedly rather ugly brownish color left over from one of my alcohol marker sets so i just used that because i thought well a brown color would fit a beetle as well and uh, I actually like how it turned out because the background is so dark and muted and almost muddy. And then you have this super colorful beetle here. So yeah, sometimes I just change things a little. Then I have this. And I don't know what to do with these images. I used alcohol markers. I think it was this image, wasn't it? And it turned out really streaky for the background. So I don't know, maybe one day I will go over it with either another layer of alcohol marker or maybe with a watercolor to just try to make the patchiness go away but yeah i did the girl on the swing in the summer silhouettes 
Then I have Pokemon Quest. I am slowly finishing this one. And uh, I, I think I know pretty much the first generation Pokemon because those were the games that I played. I'm not sure how all the other Pokemon are called. But this was one of the starter Pokemon of another generation. And it's really cute. So yeah, another page done. Then, the Stone Mosaic Black Edition. I think you probably have been seeing this in all of my Completed Pages videos because this is one of the books I work toward finishing. Have I done one or two images? I am actually not sure. <laughs> I'm going to show you this flamingo with the mm, Paradise Flower and Monstera leaves. Then I also did the woman with the glasses. And then, one of my favorite color by number books, one of my favorite coloring books. I keep saying that every time. I'm just going to shut up about how much I love the style of this coloring book and show you the page. And apparently, yeah, must be that. It's the bunny. It's so cute, isn't it? How it's looking out of that patch of grass with its cute pink nose. So yeah, those were my pages. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and maybe see you in the next one. Bye.